going to talk about the second part of communication, which is nonverbal communication. Anybody know what that means? It's mean how we it's how we communicate with each other without using words. It's communication without words. So that could be with your body gestures, with the arms, pointing things. You know, if I point something, you know, that's where I'm talking about. Um, facial expressions, if you're sad, you might have a frown. If you're happy, you might be smiling. Facial expressions, body emotions. Um, it's just any kind of communication you do without actually talking. And like I had said before, this non-verbal communication does involve a lot of the emotions. You can express how you're feeling emotionally through your body actions, through your body language, through your facial expressions. So today's video is going to be about some nonverbal communicating and we'll get started. Ernestine, I'm going to need you to switch out the yellow cards for the blue cards, please. Hey guys, I just want to let you know we all are wearing our mask, but I'm far enough away from everybody that I can take it off to do the videos here. Wanted to let you know when we did that skit with Ernestine, I asked her nicely to do a job and she just walked away, waved her hands at me. To me, that's being pretty disrespectful. She communicated that to me without using any words. Okay, so this one, she got Paige to the training office. I think you've all dealt with this before. She looked like she was pretty upset and mad because she got Paige to the training office. She slammed her hands down. You could just tell by her body language moving her arms and she got up and stormed off. So you can tell by people's body language what their emotion is, what they're feeling. We all communicate through body language even if we're not actually verbally saying anything. Okay guys, on the clip that was before this, you saw Ernestine sitting at her desk working and then there was a noise, a bucket fell on the ground and it startled her, surprised her. You saw how she jumped and got surprised and maybe even scared. So that was another way that she expressed what was going on without using any word. Hey, Ernestine, did you hear we get Friday off? Ooh, oh, oh, ooh, ooh, oh, oh, ooh. <laughs> In the video before this one, you saw how she expressed herself, her emotions all through her body language when she found out we were getting a day off from work. She got up, she was dancing, she was a pretty happy camper. I don't think I need to tell you about that one. So we can communicate a lot of our words, our emotions, all through our how we act. Hey guys, so in these next few clips, I need you to tell me what Scooby is trying to tell you through his body language. Hi guys, we miss you. Stay safe and please wash your hands. See you when you get back. Hi everybody, it's Lorna Wallace. Saying hi to you guys. We miss you. It's been a long time. I hope you're all being good and working hard at home. Um, before you know it, this will all be over and you can come back to work again. And we'll be really excited to see you. So take care, God bless, and we love you. Bye.